Here in the heart of the urban sprawl lives a man who's enthralled to one particularly rewarding crop, grapes. For 10 years, Marco Boitson has had a thriving backyard vineyard in London Stoke Newington. What a thing of great beauty, Marco. Yeah, what a lovely yeah. thing to have yeah. in your home, yeah. on your home, climbing up your home. If you like gardening, if you enjoy wine, it's a great hobby to have. A mature vine like Marco's can provide enough grapes for over a dozen bottles of wine. What discourages some people is the fact that it's three years before you'll have your first harvest. But patience pays off. And our homegrown wine industry is ripening nicely with over 350 commercial vineyards in Britain. My children used to crush them with their feet when they were small. You've got a big grown-up child here today with big feet. <laughs> I had a good shower this morning. I've got clean socks on. And I promise you my athlete's foot cleared up at least a week ago. Great. <laughs> so just straight in there, yeah? yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely feeling. God, so much juice. I mean, I'm already literally up to my ankles in grape juice. It really works, doesn't it? Using your feet prevents the pips from being crushed because they're bitter inside. It's the ideal way of doing it. I haven't had so much fun for years. Time to turn this tasty juice into the world's favourite yeah. tipple. Your cellar. Your alchemist den. <laughs> Marco's going to use a fermentation from his first crop of a couple of weeks ago to kick-start the final brew using today's juice. The yeast is from the grapes themselves. I haven't added any commercial yeast. The, the yeast lives on the skin. It strikes me that your process is even more pure than most commercial winemakers, because actually a lot of them do tinker with their wines, adding extra sugar and even some kind of flavourings and, and special yeasts of the, uh, that are not from the grape itself. That's right, yes. So you're really old-school, pure winemaking here. That's right, yes. So would you like to taste uh, some <laughs> last year's Pinot Noir? I, I hardly <laughs> dared bring that up. I think that's re really rather good. You like it? I do. It's got a greater complexity than, than just about any other British-made red I've, I've ever had. I really think this wine's a corker, but is my emotional involvement clouding my judgment? I want to find out what others think of it. Where's it oh, made? In Stoke Newington, in my back, in back garden. In your garden in Stoke Newington? Well, wow, that's fantastic. Isn't that great? In about three months' time, when it's settled down, that's going to be a great wine. You know, good luck with it. Thank you.